Well, we've got to talk about the weather again. We know uh, we've Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's Tampa. Tampa. Yeah, Tampa. and I feel like the waves there on the left-hand side of your screen, they look a little bigger than they did just 15 minutes, oh, 15, yeah. 20 minutes ago when we took this same shot uh, because we know that this is moving so quickly, 20 miles per hour, I understand. So, AJ, I, I want to ask you uh, about this. As I understand it, because it's moving so fast, the cone is smaller, and, and that gives it the momentum the good thing is that it doesn't sit over something and just dump some area and just dump water, but it gives it more momentum to push farther onto land, and, and that's how it might be affecting us. Yes? Yeah, it'd take it a while to weaken. You're exactly right, okay. Christy. Yeah, that's, that's uh, very true. Uh, usually these storms are much slower. They'll dump a lot more water over the same amount of real estate. This, on the other hand, has the forward momentum, like you said, to kick it northward and will be impacting our weather here. Not today, necessarily, although these clouds uh, associated with the front and tropical moisture overrunning a front. Betsy and I were just talking about this, and uh, these showers associated with the tropical system itself working their way into the Ohio River Valley. Look how close the sun is, right over to the Hoosier State. 72 degrees, not too bad out there right now. Northeast winds at 14 miles an hour, and those winds are really going to come in with gusto. They're going to howl tomorrow. We'll have gusts probably uh, close to 30 or so. Pressure 30 to 3 and falling. Temperatures right now 70s all across northeast Ohio. 74 Akron Canton, 73 Ravenna. Chardon checks in at 71 degrees. Here is Helene churning away over the eastern Gulf of Mexico, close to the west coast of Florida, but seems bent on taking uh, an extreme north, perhaps northwest track, certainly as it moves inland. So this is how we think it is going to go. The forecast track with 120 mile an hour sustained winds. Look at the movement, north, northeast, 21 miles an hour. That is incredible speed. Uh, for a hurricane, not the norm by any means. And that's why a storm surge of uh, rather uh, large proportion, I think, is going to be affecting uh, those south of Tallahassee and certainly along the Gulf Coast. By about 8 or 9 o'clock appears to be the window of time within which we will find landfall of this major hurricane. And look at how quickly still a tropical storm as it moves north of Atlanta. This, uh, the timing on this, four o'clock in the afternoon tomorrow. Isn't that incredible? And then will be absorbed by an upper level low. The remnants affect our weather for several days in a row on into the weekend, perhaps into early next week as well. Here's the National Design Mart hour by hour forecast and the movement on the low. Watch as it seems to kind of crash into a, a barrier and then move west. But again, this is the remnants. This is not uh, going to be a hurricane by any means by the time it moves into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys, but appears to go onto a spin dry cycle. This is tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. There's a front hovering out here northwest, but won't have enough oomph to sweep it out of here. So our forecast goes as follows tonight. Cloudy skies. We're looking at a northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles an hour. 64 should be the overnight low. Rain developing tomorrow in the afternoon from south to north. It will become breezy. Some would call it windy. East winds 10 to 20, gusts to 30. And there's the hour by hour look at that. That the highest excessive rainfall potential again is going to be well to the south. Here's the Union Home Mortgage seven day outlook. We're looking at a 77 on Saturday. The remnants of Helene will uh, certainly be playing with us through the weekend, a 77 on Monday, and then drying out, guys, by next week. Christy, Matt? Yeah, drying out and a little bit of a, a drop in temperature. Yeah, it's going to feel like fall again. All right, AJ, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You bet. We'll be right back.